ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन दी एफ ऑफ टी गिवन अ फंक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी वी नीड टू फाइंड दी लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी विच इज एफ ऑफ एस सो दिस इज अ नोटेशन दैट वी यूज यल करली ब्रैकेट एफ ऑफ टी सो दिस इज रेड एज लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी एंड इट इज इक्वल्स टू एफ ऑफ एस इट इज ऑल्सो जनरली नोटेड एज एफ ऑफ एस बिकॉज एस इज दी एस इज वॉट वी गेट आफ्टर वी ट्रांसफॉर्म द टी डोमेन functions okay so t is a time domain function and s is the frequency domain functions okay so what is the definition of laplace transform how usually uh, how do you go on about uh, solving a laplace transform question it is integration zero to infinity f of t so if you need to take the laplace transform of f of t find the laplace transform of f of t you need to find the integrate f of t into e power minus s t multiply f of t with e power minus s t and integrate it from zero to infinity with respect to t this is the definition of laplace transform okay but we don't need to do that integration solve that integration every time okay so we have already uh, listed the laplace transform of some of the basic functions like constant function and polynomials and trigonometric sin and cos and exponential functions as that okay and we need to use that table okay uh, and convert the given f of t whatever function that they are given we need to use uh, the basic trigonometry formulas algebra formulas and exponential formulas to convert it to a uh, sum or the product of the table okay so table on the table on the one hand, one hand we have basic functions and we need to convert that to the basic functions and then we can just use the table to write the uh, laplace transform of this function okay so if you have here what do we have here in this case it is cos hyperbolic square theta uh, if you see the table uh, we have Laplace transform of cos at, okay. So which is s over s square plus a square, okay. So this is what we have, but this is not cos uh, function. This is a cos hyperbolic function, okay. We have cos hyperbolic also, but let's see uh, how to how do we solve how do we take the Laplace transform of this, okay. And even if we had cos here, cos square is not same as cos at, okay. Laplace transform of cos at, okay. So first we need to go about. uh simplifying this using trigonometry and algebraic formulas so the first formula that i know is if i have cos hyperbolic sum function theta cos hyperbolic sum angle theta it can be written as e power theta plus e power minus theta over 2 so cos hyperbolic is basically uh, sum of two exponential functions divided by 2 okay so if i use this formula here what will happen to my f of t f of t will be now So cos hyperbolic in place of theta I have three t. So in place of theta if I substitute three t, I will get e power three t plus e power minus three t over two. And uh, in the f of t we have a square. So cos hyperbolic square is same as cos three theta whole square. Okay, so it is whole square. Okay. So we know a over b whole square is just a square that is whatever in the numerator square and whatever in the denominator square. So denominator we have. Four. So in the numerator we have a plus b whole square, which is a square plus b square plus two ab. So that is a square is e power three t whole square plus b square is e power minus three t whole square plus two ab is two times e power three t times e power minus three t. Very simple algebraic formulas. And now here, once we are here, we know a uh, few exponents, laws of exponents. So if we have A power m whole power n, okay. A power m whole power n that can be written as a power m into n, okay. So that is one of the laws of exponent. And if we have uh, same basis but different powers and multiplying, so that is a power m into a power n, same basis, different powers, multiplication will be a power m plus n, okay. So that is the two laws of exponent that we know that we'll use here. And see, uh, a power m whole power n is not same as a power m power n. Okay, so that is uh, stack of stacking of power. Okay, here it is whole power n. Okay, so that's just a small remark. So using this, we have here f of t can be written as one uh, by four. I will take four outside. Uh, e power three t power two can be written as e power three t into two. Three t into two is sixty. Okay, plus. E power minus three t into two is e power minus sixty plus two. E power three t, e power minus three t. You have to add them. If you add three t and minus three t, if three t and negative three t, you will get zero. So that is e power zero t. So at the end, 
we have converted f of t using a trigonometric formula and laws of exponent and a plus b whole square, the algebraic formula, into sum of exponential functions. Why? Because we know Laplace transform of an exponential function, e power at, which is just 1 over s minus a. And in place of a, here we have 6, and you have minus 6. It's very easy now. And 2 e power 0 t is just a 2, because e power 0 t is 1. Anything, power, anything to the power 0 is 1. So, Laplace transform of 2, Laplace transform of any, any constant function, Laplace transform of any constant function, any constant number, k, is k over s. Very simple. So now if I take Laplace transform of this, what I will get? So f of s is basically 1 over 4, you just keep it outside, and uh, Laplace transform of e power 60. So Laplace is a linear function, so it means Laplace transform of a plus b plus c is same as Laplace transform of a plus Laplace transform of b plus Laplace transform of c. Okay, you can interchange the plus operator with Laplace operator. Okay, so plus uh, Laplace transform of e power minus 60, plus Laplace transform of 2. Okay, so that is what f of s is. Okay, so it can be written as 1 over 4. Uh, we have, we know e power 8 is 1 over s minus a. So e power 60 is 1 over s minus 6. Plus, in place of a, I have minus 6. So in place of a, I have to substitute minus 6. So that is 1 over s minus minus 6. Okay, so this is where you need to be careful. And plus uh, Laplace transform of 2, any number is number by s, yes. so that is 2 by s. Okay, so f of s is uh, 1 over 4, 1 over s minus 6 plus 1 over, this can be written as s plus 6, minus to minus plus, plus 2 over s. So we did not do any, we did not integrate any function, okay. And Laplace transform is just uh, knowing the table, knowing the Laplace transform of basic uh, functions, and just applying them here. So Laplace transform for, uh, part is only this much, okay, remembering and applying. But transforming or the simplifying the given quotient into basic functions, sum of basic functions, is where uh, what is needed by from you actually. Okay, this is all the things that you have learned till here, till your 12th or 2nd PUC. That is A plus B whole square, laws of exponent, and this cos hyperbolic theta is same as e power theta plus e power minus theta by 2. These are the things that are, that is called basics and that is, these are the things that is, that are pre-required from you uh, to, to be able to solve this question. Laplace transform is very easy, it's just recalling the formula and applying here, only three steps, okay. So this is what we need to do uh, from every one question here, okay. So let's see another question. <coughs> 